A childhood board game involving candy and colorful squares became a full-size treat at the Brooks Memorial Library in Brattleboro. A team of four people spent nearly 11 hours on Wednesday turning the meeting room of the library to a colorful board game filled with gumdrops and candy canes. Library director Star Electronica said board games are a great literacy development tool because there is so much conversation that goes on when you play the game. It was all just the brilliant schemes of the Youth Services Department because that's what they do. That's what Youth Services librarians do. They, they really approach learning in a whole child way. So it's not just phonics, it's not just learning the alphabet, it's learning about all kinds of things at the same time. In the game Candyland, children talk about the colors, they count, and they talk about places that they're going to during the game. And anytime you have conversation with children, you're developing language skills, which is the first step in them learning how to read, said Vitronica. Is to have those, uh, have that fluency with language and have a good vocabulary that then when they encounter those words in print, they, it, it comes much more easily. So this actually, in addition to just being fabulously fun is also a, a really important early literacy development tool as well. But just nobody notices. And besides, it's Candyland, and it's gorgeous, and look what they did. There's plenty of excitement in the room, and when the game is done, people get a bag of candy from Lifer's Sweet Candy Store. People can sign up and play the life-size board game either Friday or Saturday. For more on the story, go to reformer.com.